Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. I had a request from Valerie to show how I can use, how I use other planners on top of the KISS planner. So I thought I'd just give you a quick demonstration today of how you can do that. This is a, a spread that I did in the KISS planner and I've taken, um, you can see here, oops, let me just put my photo there we go I don't know if you guys have had some issues but since my last good notes update it keeps crashing on me anyway what I want to show you here so see I've taken this sticker you can see it's selected from um, an ink and pine planner and I've pasted it into this planner and decorated it here so um, Valerie asked, how do you do that? Um, so let's get to a, today's page or tomorrow's page, I guess. So I'm just gonna go to the front index of my KISS planner and I'm gonna select the ninth. So now I have a nice blank page here and I'm gonna show you two different things. So I'm gonna, uh, actually I'm gonna show you a few things today, but to start with, we're gonna do it this way. So. This is an ink and pine planner and I've already decorated the page. This is one I used last month. But what you can do, because her planner is pretty right to the edges, you can just screenshot it. So I'm gonna press my home button and my little top button up here at the same time. And I take a screenshot. So if we go back to the Kiss Planner now and I grab that screenshot, so I'm on the, the picture here, so I've got my shortcut to the picture. So I've selected the screenshot and put it on my page. So now I'm gonna do a long press, edit, and then tap it again and select crop. And if you choose rectangle, you can just pull that in and edit off all the bits that you don't need. Now the nice thing about doing this on an already decorated page is it makes it one sticker instead of many so there's less memory being used up and less lag when you're looking at your pages. So I don't know if you remember the other one, I put this new sticker that I just created on top of a cover and then I went through and I decorated the whole page. So some, some planners are really nice like this, that they're super easy to crop. Here, this is the October one. So this one, here's one of the already made template pages. I'll just do it again for you. So I'm gonna press the home button and this button up here at the same time, and that takes a screenshot. And let's go back to the Kiss Planner. And either you can select from up here or when you have this photo tool selected, you can press this, you choose photos, and you can bring your photo in. And then that. because it's still selected, I can just hit crop. If it's not selected, you can long press, edit, tap it, and crop. And again, you just wanna pull in your edges just so we get rid of all the stuff that isn't the other planner. So you can do this with any planner which is the fun thing about the Kiss Planner, and it's the reason I've had Planner Peace since February of this year. And that's a long time. <laughs> um, so if I see a planner that I really like that someone else has made, I buy it. And then I can crop those pages and put them into my Kiss Planner. And that way it's, um, everything's in one book for the whole year. And I can still have the benefit of trying the fun and pretty and shiny new things and and I don't have to just be stuck with the same planner forever but I am it, it, it's a good compromise um so these this style of planner if, if you find one like that is super easy to work with it's just a quick crop and you're ready to go there's other planners um that take a little bit more step so uh this is the new kit from Souk de Coco and it's super cute and all of her sticker kits come in this notebook and I really like this because this notebook makes it super easy to 
use in the Kiss Planner. And so every time she makes a new sticker book, I crop it out and um, use it as a background. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I'm gonna tap on these four little squares in the top corner. I'm gonna take a page and I'm gonna duplicate it. I don't wanna mess around with the original page because I don't wanna wreck my stickers. So now that I have this extra page, I'm gonna select the lasso and I'm gonna delete everything that's on it. So now I have this blank notebook. And I'm gonna do that screenshot again that we did before. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Procreate. Trying to crop this using that little window in GoodNotes would just be a nightmare. Procreate is a great app for editing your stickers. You can do all sorts of things. You can see here's other covers that I've edited and I've removed. I, Oops, that's my kid's art. Here we go. I have like a whole pile of covers where I've removed the background off them so that I can use them in my Kiss Planner. So I'm gonna create a new file with the photo that I just took. So I'm gonna select that and it's gonna open up a new Procreate file. And the first thing I'm gonna do is crop it a little, so just to get all this extra off. So if you press the wrench and go to Canvas, you can say Crop and Resize. And I'm just gonna get all that extra stuff off so it's just the pink background. I don't wanna go too close to the edges because I want there to be um, that pink evenly around the whole thing. So now I've cropped off most of the extra and I just pinched it with my fingers here just to make it smaller. And I'm gonna go to my layers and I'm gonna turn the background layer off. So now I don't know the actual name of any of these tools, um, <laughs> but this little S thingy up here, I'm not too sure what it is, but if you tap it, it brings up this menu. Um, it looks like I have it on automatic. I don't really do anything too fancy. If you long press and then you start to swipe, you can see here it says selection threshold 60. If I go really far, the whole thing goes black. I want to go and see how I'm just, can you see when I move my pen this way, that blue bar goes this way. If I move my pen back that way, it fills up. So I want that blue bar to be just enough that it selects the background. I wanna leave some of that shadow because the shadow adds some realism. So I wanna go as far as I can before it starts changing the color of the image that I'm trying to, to, to save. I wanna get rid of all the rest of this. So I'm just gonna double tap to undo. So now if I just tap this, it's got the memory of, of where I just left that slider. And again, if I tap on the black, I can adjust it a little bit more. And you see, I don't wanna to go too far. I don't want this to be black, but I also don't wanna lose any of the picture on the rings. So I'm just double tapping to undo. All right, so I'm thinking that's pretty good. I'm we can always undo. So now I'm gonna select the eraser tool. I want it as big as possible and as opaque as possible. So I have both these sliders up to the top. And now I'm just gonna erase everything that I selected using that little S squiggly tool thing. So now just a quick erase and now all that background is gone. So I'm gonna tap that and just move it there. So now I'm on normal tools, let's zoom in. And you can see I still have the shadow, which is, oops, don't do that. I still have the shadow, which is nice. See, there's like a little bit of shadow there. But all I have now is the notebook. Now, I like to switch, sometimes you want to use the notebook this way. Um, so these little um, logos aren't always the greatest. Sometimes they look really cute if you're going to do a soup to cocoa spread and you want to keep this in this layout. Um, but if you didn't, you can just really quickly change your color. Let's go to palettes, pick a white, use your paintbrush, and just really carefully just draw white over top. If for some reason the background that you're working with 
isn't white, you can use your fingertip and do a long press and see the circle comes up and you can change the color by selecting anything on the page and then that will match it. So if this was like an off-white, you could just go here, select that color and then use that color to just draw a line over top and make it clean. So now we'll go back to gallery and if you just drag your finger a little bit, it says share PNG and I usually just say copy. Um, I don't need to add it to my camera roll and clutter that up. So now I'm going to go back to good notes and the first thing I do is on this blank page that I made, I paste my cover down there. So now I have it forever. I know that most of my Souk de Coco note sticker books have a sticker of the notebook on the last page. Um, so if we take that into our Kiss Planner now and paste it on, we have a perfect little notebook that we can decorate and it allows us to have that cover look. And you can do this with anything. These notebooks from Souk de Coco are um, really easy to erase the background on. It's a good one to practice or something like that that has a solid background with no texture. Um, other ones, let's take a look at this one. So this is the Extreme Planner book that Jenna from Lenny Digitals gives out every month. There's one of them. There's four this month and they're amazing. If you haven't seen them, go look. I will, of course, link everything that I've shown today in the description. Um, so something like this with a textured background is a lot harder. Um, and here you have lots of little things poking out. So let's start with just this cover page. Let's see if we can crop this cover. So I'm going to do that screenshot again. Now it's saved to my camera roll. We're going to go back to Procreate. And I'm going to make a file using a photo. So let's grab that photo. So the same thing. Let's start by cropping all this extra stuff off that we don't need. We're trying to get just this cover. So we actually don't need a lot here. So I think that's pretty good. Now I know it's really dark. So hopefully this is showing up well for you. But now if we choose this little S tool, okay, well that took everything, so we don't want that much. So we know that we need to sort of drag it back a little. So now we have a little bit of one board, but none of the cover. So I'm just kind of trying to find a happy medium. And it looks like I'm not going to because the textured background is so similar to the textured cover. It's really hard to, um, to find how you're gonna do it. So it's, some backgrounds are a lot easier than others. So if we bring the threshold up and you can see my little blue bar is quite small. That's too far because I've already started grabbing some of the cover texture. Now I've set the threshold at this so I can just kind of tap all oh, that wreck the cover so we'll undo. Um, see like you kind of have to just experiment. So if when I did that one, it messed up the cover there. So we'll undo again. I'm just going to pinch this in so it's small. And I'm going to turn that background off. So now let's hit the eraser tool and see what we've, what we've done here. We erased some of it. So this one's going to be a real challenge. Um, Let's go back to here and see if we can grab some more. See, again, it's highlighting a bit of that. So we can pull back the threshold a little and see if we can get a little bit more. So you see, this one's gonna be not so easy to clean up. So I'm just tapping all the black stuff. Let's see if we can get as much as we can erased. <clears throat> and I'm going to select the eraser tool and we'll just erase a little bit more here. So again, I have it on the highest setting. It just makes it nice and quick. We don't need to be precise. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to crop and resize. This edge here, like the four, the, this edge, this edge, and this edge are perfectly straight. If we zoom in, there's no bumps or anything. So we can use the cropping tool 
and bring it right up to the edge and we can get rid of some of these this background just by a quick easy crop so get as close as you can remember you can always undo um <clears throat> now honestly i am this much ocd that i will like not erase the corner hang on zoom right in change it to the the eraser and make this like so small and i will sit there and like erase one little pixel at a time to make it perfect um you you might not want to do that <laughs> i i will admit i've spent like half an hour on a cover before um i find it kind of relaxing so you can go through and erase each little bit one at a time here this part i'd probably make my eraser a little bit bigger and kind of get in there and again it's easiest if it's on the highest opacity here or whatever the proper word is called um you can see i actually went too far i think on the cover well maybe not and so right now my my eraser is fairly big you can see <clears throat> so you make it a little bit smaller and then you can get in close and you can just use your fingers to pinch and zoom right in so that's too big so here's where i would go like right down to a tiny pixel and just start erasing um this isn't done but i'm not going to make you sit and watch me erase pixel by pixel for an hour so <laughs> let's just to pretend that it's all cleaned up edges and we'll go back to the gallery and just drag to the side share png and copy then we'll go back into the planner and you can paste this into good notes so again it's it's not cleaned up it's not pretty um, if you want to take the time you can do a little bit more you can crop a little bit closer and then clean up the edges but you can see how you can bring any cover from any planner, any pages into a book. It just depends on how much time you wanna spend um, working on it. Here's my spread from yesterday. This is a cover of a sticker, or my spread from today actually. This is a cover of a sticker book. So I did the screenshot, I cropped down the edges and I pasted it in. Um, I'm gonna see if I have any more that are close. I don't think I do. Um, but you can see there's so much you can do. For example, um, I get a lot of questions on this template. This is a part of another planner that I really liked. So in GoodNotes, I just cropped down the part that I liked and I paste that into my daily every day. Um, so this Kiss Planner is so awesome. It lets you keep buying stuff from everywhere. <laughs> Anytime something catches your fancy, you can buy it, you can crop it, you can paste it into the Kiss Planner, and you can have everything in one place, which is what makes this planner like the planner of all planners, if, if you want my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, I will link everything in the description. Um, please, if you ever have any questions, you want me to show you how to do something, just let me know, send me a message, and um, I'm more than happy to show you how I do it. So that's it for today. I hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.